Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we're back with an update on my adventure to bring in over-the-air TV into my house. Where we last left off, I had a lot of success with my next-gen TV stations that just recently started broadcasting here in Connecticut. That is also known as ATSC 3.0. But I was noticing that I wasn't getting a steady signal all the time, and I still wasn't reaching some of the other TV towers that I wanted to reach. And as you all know, we interviewed the antenna man last week for some advice from him as to what I should do. And he suggested I pick up this monster. This is the Televis Dat Boss Mix LR. And this thing is great. And it's been picking up a lot more than what we had in the prior video. So what I thought I would do in this video is show you how it's working, just mount it up on my amateur radio tripod, and we'll see if this antenna is going to be the one that will completely solve my problem in just a second, but I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for the antenna with my own funds, but you will also hear me talk about the HD Home Run Flex 4K network tuner that can bring these ATSC 1.0 and 3.0 signals into the house. The makers of the HD Home Run are an occasional sponsor here on the channel, and they provided a unit to me free of charge for me to play around with in this series. But they are not paying for this video, nor is anyone reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see how this new antenna is working out for me here at the house. Now the antenna, of course, will need assembly when it arrives. It comes in a big box. And the assembly process wasn't bad, and I'm not very good at assembling things, but the instructions, I think, could be better. There is no words on it at all. It is very much an IKEA-style uh, guide here for putting everything together. I did have a screw or two left over when it was done, but the fact that I was able to assemble it and get it working is a major accomplishment for me. I found after the fact that they actually have a really helpful video on their YouTube channel that will give you a visual step-by-step -step guide for putting it together that might be more helpful than these included instructions. But some of you who are better spatially and with assemblies than I am will probably find this a very easy guide to follow and all in. If I can put it together, anybody can. Now, in addition to the antenna assembly, there is a preamp unit here. This is not outdoor rated. It needs to be inside as close as you can get it to where the antenna is outside, and then you run your RG6 cable out of here to the antenna to power things. The antenna will work without this, but it works better with it, and all the testing we did had the included preamp connected. So we had the antenna connected here, and then I ran the HD home run out of this connector right there. Now, as you recall from the prior video, we had an antenna's direct antenna mounted on the top of my amateur radio tripod, and I pretty much put it up to where I would mount the antenna on my roof, pointed in the direction of my ATSC towers. And that is exactly what I did with the Televis here, although because it's so much bigger and heavier, it was moving around quite a bit, even with a little bit of wind. So I ran my tests relatively quickly and took it back down. And some of that wavering might impact things a little bit, especially when you combine it moving along with the trees moving, but I still got some really great results out of it. Let's take a look and see how it compares to the antenna's direct antenna we used earlier. So let's take a look at what we were getting before with the antenna's direct antenna on our ATSC 3.0 broadcast. And as you can see here, the antenna's direct was getting about a 55% signal strength and our signal quality was frequently dipping into the yellow and I would have occasional breakups in the quality of the video. Here is the Televis. It is so much better. Now, in fairness, the Televis does have a, a preamp installed on it, but when we installed the preamp on the antenna's direct antenna, we were not seeing a signal quality increase, and we're getting about 10 to 12% more signal quality out of this Televis antenna versus the antenna's direct one. So you could, of course, add a preamp to the antenna's direct antenna, but now you're getting into the price territory that this Televis is at, and I think you're much better off there. The one time that it did dip down into the yellow was when the wind really started blowing outside, and I think that's a function of the antenna actually moving up on the top of my tripod there, along with the leaves and the trees kind of blowing around a bit as well. And trees are a real problem for me here, and we'll talk a little bit more about that before we close out the video. But before we do that, what really surprised me about the Televis antenna is that it was picking up more of my ATSC 1.0 broadcast. Let's have a look at that. 
So in the prior video, we were able to pick up 44 channels that was with the preamp attached. And that was actually really good for me because I never could get this many channels brought into my house. But the Televis here brings in 55, including WFSB at the top of the list there. That is my CBS affiliate. And I have never been able to pick up that channel no matter what antenna I use here. But we were able to get it using the Televis antenna. And if you check out the uh, signal strength on it, it's not perfect by any stretch, but it was largely watchable. I didn't see a lot of breakups here. Certainly the signal quality is not great, but it is able to lock on and deliver that broadcast. And what's interesting is to look at the bit rate here. This is a 1080i signal coming in over MPEG-2 at almost double the bit rate of that higher quality broadcast we were getting over ATSC-3. So it really shows you how much better this new technology is. But this antenna, though, was really great in picking up uh, this station. It also picked up uh, WTNH, which is my ABC affiliate. And this is actually off to the west. And so the antenna was not pointed in the direction of where this tower is, yet I was getting a really strong signal, stronger than I've ever been able to get, even with the antenna pointed in the direction of WTNH. So off the side here, it's working great. And then I was also able to get WVIT, my NBC affiliate, really strong there, although I think they recently moved onto the same tower that uh, those ATSC-3 broadcasts are coming from, but it looks like we're getting actually a stronger signal here. And then also WTIC, which is my Fox affiliate. Again, another station I could never get before I'm picking up here. So not only can I get all of my broadcasts coming in over ATSC-3, I'm also getting all of my broadcasters coming in over ATSC-1. Again, something I was never able to achieve here at my house. Now from this drone footage, I think you can see I've got some tree issues here. The drone is pretty much at the highest point of my roof and you can see there's a tree right in front of where that antenna would go. And there's more trees beyond that one that would also block the signal. And it might not be as bad in the winter time when there aren't leaves on the trees, but in the summer where we are right now, those leaves move around a lot in the wind and I think could provide some difficulty in getting a strong signal all the time. So I'm gonna to have to experiment a little bit more. That might be the next video, maybe actually mounting this antenna if my wife will approve having such a monstrosity on the house that's so visible. If she doesn't, we're gonna to have to put it up in the back somewhere and get it pointed in the right direction. But either way, I've gotta get this thing up super high and that is going to be the challenge, especially as I am not qualified to put anything on my roof at all, let alone that high off my roof. So I'll have to call in some professional help or some professional friends to help me out with that. But we're making progress here, and I think this antenna really did make a difference. Definitely check out the Antenna Man. He reviews a lot of these things, and just because this antenna worked for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, or it might be overkill for what you need. So I think it's really helpful to check out his channel, maybe look at his consulting service so he can help you pick out the antenna that will work best in your particular situation. That is gonna do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, Chris Allegretta, Brian Parker, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Baby Metal Fox God, Tom Albrecht, Amda Brown, Matt Zagaya, and Tech Time with Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.